In this video, we're going to show you how to block or prevent users with suspicious source IP addresses. And we're not talking about blocking users from specific countries because that's already covered from the previous video. I am talking about IP reputation and anonymous IP list. I'm here now in our AWS console instance page. And what I'm going to do is I will access or I will go to load balancers page. I'm going to click sticks ELB because this is our existing application load balancer. And I'm going to copy the DNS because we want to access our web application via sticks ELB, our application load balancer. Next is I will go to integration and I will click this arrow next to AWS WAF. And as you can see, AWS WAF is integrated and I will go to our policy called web pol. Okay. Our policy is also named web ACL. I'm going to click rules. And as you can see, we already have four rules. Now I'm going to add a new rule. I'm going to select the first one, add manage rule groups. And there are multiple options here, but we, we are more interested with AWS manage rule groups. And as I scroll down under free rule groups, there's this Amazon IP reputation list and anonymous IP list. What is the difference? Well, the IP reputation list is a database of IP addresses that have been identified as sources of malicious or undesirable activity. So we can enable these, but unfortunately it's not easy for us to test it. So next is anonymous IP list. Anonymous IP list is, um, well, on the other hand, these are the source IP addresses associated with anonymity service, such as proxy servers, VPNs, Tor, etc. And it says here, this is useful if you want to filter out viewers that may be trying to hide their identity from your application. So I will just enable this. Okay. And I scroll down, I'm going to click add rules. It doesn't matter if this is the last rule. Uh, so the name is AWS manage rule anonymous IP list. I'm going to click save. And there you go. We already have AWS manage rule anonymous list in our web poll ACL. Okay. So our web application is still accessible. No problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change our IP address using CyberGhost VPN, because this is an example of proxy VPN. So I will click for torrenting. Okay. And I will choose a random country here. It doesn't really matter. Let's choose Ecuador. So now it's connecting to CyberGhost VPN. Okay. And we are now virtually in Quito, Ecuador with an IP address of 84.247.92.17. Okay. And we are using an IP address designed for torrenting. Let's test. I'm going to hit refresh now. As you can see, we are now blocked because our IP or our source IP address is considered anonymous IP. Now the question is, do they deserve to be blocked? Maybe you're thinking, maybe not. They're just hiding their identity by using a different IP address. So what I'm going to do is I will change the action. So as you can see, this is the rule and I will just change the action by editing this existing rule we have. I'm going to click edit. And if I scroll down, you will see that overall rule actions is set to the default, which is block. So what I'm going to do is I will choose a different action override to captcha. There you go. So the rule action is, as you can see, is currently block. And then we're going to override it to captcha. I'm going to click save rule. I'm going to click save again. Now to make it more interesting, I'm going to disconnect from our Ecuador location. Instead, I will use a different IP address. So I will choose a random IP address, Bolivia. There you go. Bolivia will be our new virtual location. 
All right, and if I hit refresh, as you can see, it's still loading, but says human verification. Let's confirm if you are human. All right, no problem. Let's begin. There. Uh, so what is this? Place dot at the end of the car's path. So this is the car. And uh, where is the end of the car's path? It can be this one or this one. So let's assume this one. I'm going to click this. I'm going to click confirm. It says incorrect. Please try again. No problem. Okay, how about this? Place the dot at the end of the car's path. So if this is the car, it started from here. This is the path. This should be the end. Correct? I'm going to click confirm. Okay, there you go. Successful. It says I will be redirected now to our main application. As you can see, our new rule action that has been changed to CAPTCHA is working properly. So, what do you think? Is this something useful in your cloud and application security policy and posture? Let me know if there's anything specific you would like to understand regarding AWS cloud security.